being here today. It is, it's an exciting morning for Western Kentucky University as we announce a transformation in our scholarship programs. Uh, we're announcing today a complete change in how we award merit aid at Western Kentucky University. And the first thing that we're going to announce uh, is that we are removing the ACT requirement, but all for a few of our merit scholarship uh, awards. What does that mean? It means that we're going to place the emphasis on performance over four years of high school instead of one day of testing. And we also are going to reduce uh, the GPA requirement to be eligible for those scholarships from a 3.3 down to a 3.0 and we're increasing that minimum scholarship by a thousand dollars. And what is this going to do? It's going to do a couple of things. Number one, it's going to reduce the cost that our area students have to pay for a WKU experience. Uh, number two, it's going to essentially double the number of, number of undergraduate students who are eligible for aid. This year, about 39% of our students receive some sort of merit award. Our calculations are that next fall, 80% of WKU first year students will receive scholarship aid. This is a tremendous commitment of our university to remaining a university of opportunity and a university of access. Now, the last thing that we want to announce today is an expansion of the Cornelius Martin Scholarship. This is designed to recruit underrepresented minority students. Uh, we've expanded that significantly to ensure that we remain affordable to every student, no matter their family's economic background or financial condition. President Caboni, where did the idea for this change come from? We've been working on this for about a year and a half now, taking a look at what it takes for students to be successful, how much it costs to go to WKU, and what we found is for students who want a bachelor's degree, starting at WKU is the place for them to begin. Uh, we know there are other alternatives, but if you start at WKU, you're five times more likely to get a bachelor's degree if that's your aspiration. So we want to make sure every student who's interested in and wants to pursue an undergraduate, a four-year undergraduate degree comes to WKU. But we knew there was a barrier to that, and the barrier might have been cost um, and affordability. And so what we've done is work really hard to target those students who were most needy and most deserving of financial support. Uh, so this is focused not just on recruitment, it's focused on the students that we know can be successful at WKU and retaining them through graduation. Will this lead to more students and more tuition revenue, and if so, how much? It's a great question. Um, what we know is this is another $5.2 million invested in scholarship support, an increase of 20 percent. Uh, the hope is more students will begin their careers at WKU and think about us as an affordable alternative to other institutions. What we know is this brings WKU's net cost uh, down to tens of thousands of dollars over a four-year degree than other institutions in the state, particularly the research universities, but it also means we're less expensive and more affordable than two or three other comprehensive institutions as well. It's a pure commitment to making sure we remain open and accessible to our 27 county service region. Um, Bob Skipper told us that the tuition was 5400 a semester, but I know you speak differently about like a net cost. What's the average net cost? Right now our net cost is about $11,000 all in for a WKU student. Um, and this will reduce that uh, if you get the, the smallest scholarship, if you have a 3.0 uh, in high school, uh, and you come to WKU, it brings the cost down by $2,500. Uh, and so we look forward to both unveiling this this year, but also continue to evaluate because what's most important to WKU, but more importantly to our students and their families and to South Central Kentucky is that we have a growing educated workforce for the economy of the future. Is that 11000 per semester with room and board or per year? Per it's 11000 net cost when you think about tuition, room and board, all in minus discount, right? And so what we want to make sure we do is help support every one of those students uh, to get the education that they desire. And what we know is their best chance for success if they want a four-year degree is to start at a four-year institution. So anybody who wants, wants a bachelor's degree is in our region and is thinking about us versus other alternatives, um, they need to begin here and we're going to do everything we can to make it more affordable for them. Now is that 11,000 per semester or year? Per year. Per year. I know the scholarships, are they for a semester or for the entire year? They're for the entire year. Uh, and so what we know is um, by making this more simple, helping families just take a look at a chart and understand I don't have to combine these things to figure out what my award is, it's really easy. For students who want a scholarship to WKU, get a 3.0 in high school, 
and you've won a scholarship. That is a remarkable incentive for them to perform in high school. And instead of just a testing day being the most important day in their high school career, it now becomes a focus on all four years, growing and performing and having multiple chances. And that's really what this is all about, ensuring that students who want a four-year degree can afford it, no matter what their family's economic condition might be. It, it, so that's automatic? If they have a 3.0, they get this scholarship? It's exactly right. If you have a 3.0, and you apply to WKU, you are automatically eligible for a $2,500 scholarship. And that grows as your GPA goes up. So the message to students and their families is, high school really matters. Your performance really matters. But I'll share a story. I've had uh, several local uh, folks who shall remain nameless uh, ask me about uh, our scholarship qualifications. And what they've said to me over and over again is, I've been amazingly successful, but I'm not sure I would have gotten a scholarship to WKU. Uh, I was fine in high school, but I just don't take tests well. And what we want to make sure we do is award dollars based upon what we know is most likely to encourage performance in high school students. The best indicator of success at WKU and at a four-year institution is GPA. And so we're going to focus all of our energy and efforts on that. Will those be targeted toward in-state students specifically or available to out-of-state as well? Or? This is our in-state program. Okay. Uh, in a couple of weeks, we're likely to have another uh, announcement about our out-of-state recruitment, in, particularly in Middle Tennessee and surrounding states. But this is for in-state students. Okay. We want to make sure we demonstrate our focus and our commitment to our 27-county service region. It is a remarkable, remarkable investment that we're making. Uh, the other uh, thing that we know is that the marketplace in Kentucky for higher education um, is challenging. And we want our families to know that we not just care about them, we want them to come invest and begin their careers with us at WKU. Is there a cap on how many scholarships can be given out, depending on how many students apply or get in? I tell you this, if we get 20,000 students to apply, have a 3.0, all 20,000 of them will get a scholarship. Period. It doesn't matter. So we want to open the floodgates and provide as much opportunity as we possibly can. Um, this is important not just for us as an institution, it's more important for our students and their families. So anyone with a 3.0 in high school, you're now eligible for a WKU scholarship. Was this some feedback? You got? I know you've visited a lot of the, the high schools in the state. Did you kind of talk to counselors and students about you know, what might help them out and what might work better for them? Absolutely. Uh, during the past two years, I've traveled to all 27 plus uh, counties in the Commonwealth and sat down with each of those superintendents, principals, guidance counselors, career counselors, and each one of them has said, affordability is a challenge for our families. Can you do anything to address this? Uh, and so this is directly in response to those concerns and questions. Uh, we've done it in such a way that we're focused on students that we know can be successful at WKU, uh, but also tried to do it in a way uh, that broadens access and increases opportunity. For this investment, where did this $5 million come from? So part of it is done through discount, right? And so there is a way to think about scholarshiping as discount. But the other thing uh, you re will remember, I hope, is we've been raising money for the WKU Opportunity Fund. In the past two years, we've raised over $27 million to support scholarships, retention, and graduation initiatives. Uh, we have 72 new scholarship funds, all of which will help defray some of this cost. Uh, but at the end of the day, we're investing in our students and our families. And what better way to demonstrate our commitment to them than by making a WKU undergraduate experience affordable. So this 5 million comes from private support? Not private support entirely. It'll be a combination of discounts, private support, and other way uh, we take funds to underwrite uh, that $5 million. You mentioned that the Cornelius Martin Scholarship has expanded. How much uh, has that expanded by and how many more underrepresented minority students will be able to stay here? So we don't know how many students this will attract, but if you're an underrepresented minority student, uh, in addition to, with a 3.0, in addition to the $2,500, you'll also be eligible for a $3,000, if you have a 3.0 and above, a $3,000 additional scholarship. If you have between a 2.5 and a 2.9, you'll be eligible for $2,500 in additional scholarships. Uh, that is a remarkable commitment to those young people and their families and making sure that we remain accessible to a diverse group of families and their students. Can you talk to me about for next year, let's say we attract these students, what services are they going to have here if they need additional support? So you'll recall we focused on retention first 
and then recruitment. And that absolutely was a strategic decision we made. What we needed to have in place were the support systems that undergird student success. And so we've created a whole set of opportunities for families and young people to help them ensure they get to a four-year degree. The Summer Scholars Institute, which began over the summer, the uh, Birch Institute, and the work that they do to help first-generation and average college students be successful. Um, the work that we're doing with the uh, Intercultural Student Engagement Center, helping to make sure students who um, need a place to stay and to see people like them have the support that they need to be successful. And in the future, the work that we're doing with the first year village. So instead of entering with 3,000 students, you're gonna enter with 25 in your first year who live in a pod with a peer mentor, a faculty advisor who shares your academic interests. Uh, and your courses will be block scheduled. So you'll have one or two courses with the same folks with whom you live. It's a complete transformation in the undergraduate experience, all of it focused on ensuring those students who begin with us get a four year degree. One clarification, the Academic Merit Awards are open to any student, regardless of residency. Okay. Ah, okay. okay. Oh, That's so it's out of state, that includes out of state? Yes. Even international yes. students? Regardless of residency. That's, yeah, that was the way it was. Yes. So it could be out of state? Yes. yes. Or international? Yeah. We'll have an, we're gonna, I think we're gonna do this again for out of state in a couple weeks though. There are, yes, there are additional programs that we are working on for out of state students as well. Thank you all very much. It's an exciting day. Yes. For me, this is an exciting day uh, for WKU. Uh, we're excited to announce a transformation in our scholarship program for undergraduate students. Uh, the most important thing we've done uh, with scholarships for the entering class of fall 2020 is remove for most of our scholarships the ACT requirement. Uh, the second thing we've done is reduce the minimum eligibility criteria from a 3.3 GPA down to a 3.0 GPA. So that means if you're a high school student and you want to come to WKU, if you get a 3.0, you're eligible for a $2,500 scholarship. Now we've done this for several reasons. Number one, uh, in a reaction to and response to our community and our families, uh, talking about the, the need for support as their young people start with us. College is expensive. And if we want to remain, and we do, an institution of opportunity and access, we must continue to combat the affordability challenges facing higher education in our families. And so this is a direct response to that. Number two, we want to make sure that four years of high school and performance is rewarded, not one day of test taking. And this is an opportunity for us to say to 14 year olds who are just beginning high school, if you get and perform in high school a 3.0 or above GPA, you're going to be eligible for scholarship support at WKU. Um, we think this goes a long way to helping families choose WKU to begin their academic careers if they're young people, if those students want a four-year degree. What we know is if you start at WKU, you are five times more likely to be successful at achieving a bachelor's degree than if you start somewhere else and transfer. And so we're working really hard to bring the cost of a WKU experience down to continue to make it affordable for college students and their families. This actually uh, makes our net cost tens of thousands of dollars less than other institutions in the state, particularly the research universities, and uh, makes our net cost less than two other comprehensive institutions. Uh, this is a terrific investment in students and their success. Uh, the last announcement uh, today is an expansion of the Cornelius Martin Scholarship. Um, this is targeted at underrepresented students and their families. Um, if you have uh, a 3.0 or above, the Cornelius Martin is a top-off scholarship that will be added to your undergraduate scholarship of $3,000. And if you have between a 2.5 and a 2.99, uh, that scholarship is $2,000. Uh, so we want to make sure we maintain our commitment to being a diverse community, uh, welcoming and affordable to all, regardless of fam their family's economic conditions uh, or finances. So with that, uh, any questions? Yeah, um, I wanted to ask you about enrollment. Like I heard that enrollment was down. Is this kind of an effort to bring that number back up? So what we know is we must be more competitive, not just in Kentucky, but in Middle Tennessee. Um, we are, just like many other institutions, challenged in Kentucky with a declining 18-year-old 18 18 year cohort. 
Uh, so we have to do things that make us both more attractive and more affordable. And this is definitely a response to the things that we've heard uh, in the state. Mm -hmm. But the other thing we know is that uh, this is also available to out-of-state students and we're growing uh, in Middle Tennessee and Tennessee. And so uh, there is an entire mix uh, to the enrollment package that's important for us as an institution. Uh, we've been working for one and a half years on this program, uh, both to prepare it and make sure it's targeted at students who are going to be successful here at WKU. Um, I'm not interested in recruiting freshmen anymore. I'm interested in recruiting future four-year degree holders, and we're going to put all of our efforts toward that. We began our efforts with retention uh, because we didn't want to welcome a, a group of students here without the support systems in place to help them be successful. Uh, but over the past two years, we've built the Birch Institute. Uh, we've created the ISEC Academy. We've initiated the Summer Scholars Program. There's a whole host of support systems, including centralized advising, that are working to make sure every student we admit leaves with a four-year degree in pursuit of our 80-60 plan. And this is just another uh, part of that effort. takes a village. <laughs> I understand totally. Um, will there be any scholarship, any new scholarship opportunities for returning students, or is it just for freshmen? So it's just for freshmen. Um, but one of the things uh, that I'm most proud of uh, is that this is an additional $5.2 million in investment. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing you're the only one recording and going to get that. Um, an additional $5.2 million investment in scholarships. That's an increase in expenditure of about 20%. Last year, 39% of the freshman class was eligible for scholarships. Mm -hmm. This year, we're, we're anticipating 80% of the first year class will receive some sort of scholarship aid. That is a remarkable investment. Mm -hmm. How will these uh, new scholarships be funded? So, uh, it's a variety of uh, revenue streams. One portion of it is certainly a discount. Um, and so you've heard me talk in many situations about having a net tuition revenue strategy. This is part of that strategy. Instead of focusing on headcount or FTE, really paying attention to what is the enrollment mix, mix that grows revenue. Uh, but you also will remember, uh, led by uh, Casey Caboni, uh, we've been raising money through the WKU Opportunity Fund. And in the past two years, we've generated over $27 million in new scholarship commitments with over 72 new scholarship funds. Uh, so we're going to fund this in a variety of ways, a discount, private support, um, and we're going to continue to work hard to ensure that a WKU experience is affordable and accessible no matter someone's economic condition. You got that one? <laughs> the biting of the lip? That's good. <laughs> you got some smiles in there. It's good news. It's great news. Do you guys have anything else? Anything good? You got anything? Mm -hmm. I just wanted to confirm. So the, the scholarships for the incoming freshmen, that's the same for in state and out of state? It Even is. Okay. They are. And they are renewable. Mm -hmm. Yep. And this, you know, I've... I've spent two years traveling the Commonwealth, having conversations with superintendents, principals, fam families. I've been in all 27 counties of our service region and met with superintendents and, and economic development leaders. Um, and one of the things that became clear, uh, particularly from some really successful business folks, is they said to me, WKU is a place that I went and I was successful, but I'm not sure I could get a scholarship now. And look at me, I turned out okay. And so one of the things we 